this a late edition? This come about? I yeah, we just uh, did it on Monday. So tried to, uh, you know, we saw where everybody else was uh, doing it and felt like we should try to do something. And uh, so Rob was great and, uh, you know, allowing us to put it together real quick. So you know, I'm glad we were able to do something. Well, you guys, and you guys have NCU Monday. This one doesn't count, though, as one of your two, right? So no, do you guys have no. a scrimmage plan, too? Yeah. Uh, I think there's, I don't know if we're supposed to play in Oklahoma. So, again, well, you know what date that that's on the 4th. So. Is that back in Vegas again? Yeah. Okay. Um, Idaho can be a pretty good team. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, they, they'll be favored. And, you know, we have a favorite. They'll be favored. They got six seniors uh, favored to win the Big Sky Conference. And they're just so much further along than we are. Uh, I'm not saying we won't get there at some point in time, but uh, Saturday, you know, I have no idea what to expect. I want to get everybody on the floor, play everybody, see what happens, but uh, I've got no idea what to expect. Our, our practices have been really up and down. Um, been a little disappointed with our focus and, and uh, attention to detail has been just awful. And so uh, I have no idea what to expect other than the fact that Idaho's a really good team and really experienced team with all those seniors, and uh, I just hope we can keep it close. What have the ups look like? You, know, you said there have been ups and downs. What are the, what's the best look like? Well, I, you know, I, I'm not disputing their talent. You know, I, I like, uh, you know, the, the talent level of the team, um, but the things I think are important aren't things they think are important. Uh, um, you know, they kind of want to dribble, 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 shoot, and, and uh, you know, I want to pass it. They haven't understood that, you know, keeping the ball out of the net is just as good as putting it in the net. You know, if we don't let them score two, that's just like making a basket. So we we got a long ways to go in that. Uh, but I, they're good guys. They they want to have a good team. You know, just whether they'll pay the price to get there, you know, and and um, being unselfish and sharing the ball and playing team defense and everybody rebounding. Uh, you know, with only. You know, three weeks of practice. We just haven't been able to get that message across. Everybody healthy? You have any injury issues? You know, we court? just nagging stuff, but nothing serious. Um, everybody so, play Saturday. I think. Can. Yeah, I think. You know, I, I think everybody will be ready. We've got a couple guys that won't practice today. You know, so uh, hopefully by Saturday. But I don't. I don't know for sure. Two games in three days give you a chance to see these guys live a couple times yeah no we we need that you know we just need to play somebody different like i said after three weeks here you know we you know just going over everything after day after day in practice we need somebody else to play against and we may not like the results but uh we do need to go against somebody else you feel like they might get up for that game for those couple games of not playing themselves you know i don't know uh you know, we, like I said, we've got so much work to do before we open up on the 10th, uh, you know, which is to be expected with a lot of new guys, you know, and I threw a lot of stuff at them. They're, they're struggling with, you know, trying to get a feel for it, which I'm not surprised with. I just, I was hoping, you know, that we'd come along a little quicker than we are, but uh, eventually I think we will get it. But right now we're really struggling, but again, it's early and, uh, you know, hopefully Saturday will open up their eyes a little bit. And I know playing Oklahoma will open up their eyes a bunch, you know, and it did last year. I mean, we went last year to Vegas and got beat. Oklahoma beat us, you know, and, and, uh, and we were supposed to have a good team, you know, and and uh, so, uh, you know, this this will this will help us. The lack of attention to detail, is that pretty common at this stage with freshmen? Yeah, I know it's pretty common with all teams, you know, they just, uh, no games two or three weeks away yet, so they kind of, you know, we got a lot of time, coach, you know, and um, so it's not unusual. But we, we do have to get better leadership. Our our vets got to come through a little bit more. You know, the Elijah and, and uh, Mikhail are really at a disadvantage because they don't know what we're doing. You know, they want to lead, but they're not even sure what we're doing. You know, so real tough on them. So Peyton, Keith, and and Roman, you know, Paul, those guys got to step up a little bit more and be a little more vocal. You know, I need to quit being the guy that's doing all the talking, and they need to get going here a little bit. We're far enough into it, they should all have a little better idea of what we're doing, and they need to be a little bit more vocal.
you have a good sense then on Saturday of somebody that's going to step up as a floor general? No, no. It, it's just, you know, just a scrimmage. You know, we just, we just want to see, get out on the floor, get some things on film so, you know, we can show them, uh, you know, where we're at, how much further we have to go as a team. Uh, but, you know, like I said, we're going to be throwing so many people out there in different combinations and trying to get everybody enough time that we can get everybody on film. So um, it's not going to tell us much other than the fact that we have a long ways to go. Where do you see the rebounding at at this point? Anyone who's stepping on? Oh, man. Inconsistent, you know, is the best way to put it. You know, we'll have some guys focused in on it a day and, and look really good doing it. And then the next day they'll come back and, you know, it won't be attention to detail, you know what I mean? Uh, and we don't have anybody like Jordan who just consistently goes after the ball. You know, part of that's conditioning. That's, you know, one thing that's really underestimated in rebounding is you have to be in great condition to go get the ball time and time again because you got to get balls out of your area. You got to go after every rebound if you're going to be a great rebounder because you don't know which ones, you know, are going to get batted around and come to you. You know, we just don't have anybody that's thinking that way right now. We're getting a lot of guys are getting rebounds that are coming to them, but they're not going after them like we need to. And that includes our guards. You know, we've always required our guards to rebound, and uh, we're going to have to have some guards really step up and do a better job there. That attention to detail, what does that encapsulate just with, in rebounding? Like, what does that look like? Attention to detail? Well, block outs. You know, we, we're, we're not very physical on our block outs. And uh, again, playing a veteran team this week and then again against Oklahoma, that, you know, that physicality, you know, will really show up. It'll give our freshmen something to, you know, playing against seniors. Uh, we'll give them an idea of how much further we have to go uh, and block outs and, and getting after the ball. So, um, you know, I, like I said, it, it should be, very educational for us. We should learn a lot from it. Uh, like I said, I just I hope we're able to keep it close and give them a game so they get some good out of it. But uh, uh, we are we're, we're going to find out a lot of things Saturday about how far we have to go. You mentioned Jordan. Have you had a chance to watch some of your former players oh, yeah. in the NBA? And what have you Absolutely. No, I'm I'm really happy for him. Um, you know, Tyler's not getting to play quite as much as he wants, and Joe Young's not getting to play quite as much as he wants. But, you know, uh, Dylan's got a lot of minutes and he's doing well. Jordan has, has played well in the minutes he's received. So, no, I, you know, I'm happy for the guys. Try to stay in touch, text them a little bit, and try not to bother them. They don't, don't need their old coach bothering them. But uh, I do try to stay in touch with them a little bit and just see how they're doing and uh, touch base with them a little bit. Did you see that? Uh... That dunk Jordan put off, put up off yeah, the backboard. I did. I did. I did. So that's uh, very Jordan. That's Jordan being Jordan. You know, that was that was the same from all our staff. You know, the first time I talked to any of them, they were all Jordan being Jordan. You know, so. Uh, but you know, guys like us, we dream we could do that. You know, I, that'd be uh, be something that. Uh, None of you can do that, right? I'm not. I'm not offending anybody here, but. Uh, yeah, an eight-footer. We might have a chance. I don't know if I could time it up on an eight-footer, but uh, no, I. Uh, he's off to a good start. I saw where he went three for four or something last night. He's shooting 80 percent, so not taking any bad shots. That's that's a good way to start. There are plenty of guys on that team that can score. He doesn't need to take any bad ones. So. Elijah was saying that maybe you guys are going to run some smaller lineups this year. Is there, has there been any practice running four or five guard lineups? This year? I got no idea what Elijah's talking about. Uh, so we, we, we're not close to having any lineups, anything. We're just, right now, we just got guys practicing. And uh, I put no thought into lineups. Um, we're just going to have, hopefully, some guys that earn some time. And, um, you know, we'll start piecing things together after Saturday. Um, you know, and just start seeing where things fall in. But we're so far away from lineups that, uh, you know, like I said, everything's in stage. A year ago at this time, you know, we had a lot of returners. Dylan was out, Brooks was out, but, you know, Dylan Ennis was back, and Casey was back, and Jordan was back, and Chris was back. You know, a lot of guys, you know, we had some field. This year, we're just Peyton back, you know. Keith had a small role, Roman had a small role. You know, we just, won't have none of those boxes, not, you know, marked. So it's going to be a work in progress. 
you know, hopefully we'll have some things figured out by January 1. But uh, it'll be a work in progress, definitely through November and December. There's no doubt about that.